Today we're doing monkey cupcakes. Start off with some caramels. These are craft brand. They come in individually wrapped little squares. However, they come in different brand names as well. Heat them in the microwave for five or six seconds and they will soften right up. Place between two layers of parchment paper or wax paper and just roll them until they're nice and flat and thin. And then cut out a little oval shape. It's about an inch and a half across. Now I also found that another way of good way of doing this is to just roll it into a little ball and then roll the ball into an oval and that's actually a lot simpler. So one craft caramel will make one cupcake because you divide it into two and you get two of those little oval shapes. Just as long as they're about the same size. Then for one of the little oval shapes you're going to cut out a notch so that the top of it looks like the top of a heart. Then take a toothpick and poke two holes in into the one without the notch and that's going to make the nostrils and then just mark two spots where the eyes are going to go on the other one. This is a regular cupcake frosted with chocolate frosting that's actually commercially bought frosting. Then place the one with the notch on the cupcake and then place the other oval over top of it slightly overlapping and that's going to be the muzzle and the other part's going to be the eyes and you can see how it's already coming together. For the eyes, I'm using just a dab of black icing. However, you could also glue on some chocolate chips with a little bit of frosting as well, or you could use miniature M&Ms and then draw on a happy smile with some red icing. For the ears, I'm using yellow wafers and you just cut off a segment of that with a serrated knife and then just stick them on the sides. And that's basically it, completed monkey cupcake. Now I received a request from a subscriber to make girly monkey cupcakes for a girl's birthday party. So I made these little gumdrop flowers. I will put a link in the description box to the video where I show how to make these little gumdrop flowers. And I just decided to put them on the top of the monkey's head to make it look like a little girl monkey. I put two but I think that was too many so I ended up just putting one. I think that's better. So there she is. Now I found the design for this cupcake on the Disney website and the link for that will be in the description box. And it is actually the little monkey called Abu from the Aladdin movie. So that's why it has that little hat that I think it's called a fez. Now here's another alternative to a different way of doing a monkey. You need Nilla wafers, cookies, a one that's had one piece cut off the top and then two small wedges for the ears. So the bottom part will be the muzzle and then the ears. And then you simply decorate by placing on some eyes. These are white chocolate chips that you put pointy side down. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of black icing for the center, but you could also glue on a miniature chocolate chip pointy side up. That would be another way of doing it. The nostril is just a little bit more frosting. And so is the mouth. It would be a red, uh, using red frosting for a smile. And that's another way of doing monkey cupcakes. So there they are. Uh, you can tell me which one you prefer. I like the one with the caramels because I think it just has, uh, I think it's just cuter. But the second one is also cute and it's a lot faster if you are in a hurry. Give them a try.